My stepping foot into the gym. Oh, I've put on a little bit of weight. Okay. Actually, it's been quite awful. Motivation to work out. This is your sign. YouTube fam, it's your girl Shola. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back again. As you saw in the title, today's the day we are stepping foot into the gym again after pretty much two months and two months of being a potato. But I've done like a lot of practice body weight moves at the vlog, just like squats, lunges, just doing all these movements just to make sure that there's no tenderness, that there's no soreness or straining or anything like that. And Honestly, I feel completely fine. So I'm not completely, completely healed, but I'm more than enough healed to go back and test the waters. It's definitely going to be light weights. I'm only thinking of doing like four, maximum five exercises. And also, yes, I know. I don't know if you've noticed. You probably have, because I've definitely noticed. I know I put on a little bit of weight. Okay. Eating hasn't been the best. Leave me alone. Okay, leave me alone. Well, we're getting back on it. Okay, we're, we're getting through this. Fitness is a journey, you know. It's never just. Do, 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 do. It's always just like. Meow, meow, mm, meow, do, 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 do. You know, it's linear. Is that the term? You know what I mean. It's very. I'm not going to be too hard on myself. I know I've been a potato for the past few months. I haven't been able to work out. And so my eating just hasn't been the best. Actually, it's been quite awful. I'm not going to lie. I've been eating junk food. I've been snacking like there's no tomorrow. I've just not been conscious eating to say the least but to fix that okay it's a journey I don't know about you, but I love catching up with YouTube before I head to the gym. Okay, watching YouTube in the morning is part of my routine. <laughs> We are back from the gym. Oh my god, it feels incredible to be back. I guess I took it easy and lightweight. I pushed myself a smidge, a smidge, a smidge. Not like a crazy amount. But I was testing the waters and I was like feeling it out. And honestly, it felt amazing. I didn't feel like I was causing a strain on my on my wound. I, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I quickly run. As soon as I got home, I quickly checked in real to check everything is okay. Everything is okay. So, but yeah, I'm definitely not gonna go any heavier than what I did today for a good while because I really don't want to be pushing myself too, too much. Just a smidge of everything. And it just felt so good to be back. It felt so good to just be moving my body, to be lifting a little bit of weight, feeling strong again. The endorphins really be hitting after a workout. I forgot how amazing it feels to just accomplish a workout. If you need motivation to work out, this is your sign. It doesn't have to be in the gym. It could be at home, in the comfort of your living room. There's so many videos out on YouTube where it's just body weight or if you've got a set of dumbbells, honestly, do, just do any workout. It doesn't have to be at the gym. You could even be going for a walk, going for a run, whatever it is. Like I said, just something in the living room as well. You will not regret a workout. It's always the workouts that you miss that you regret, as the saying goes, but you will just never regret a workout. It just feels so good after. I am high on life right now. So I just really want to quickly have a quick chat about, well, she is really the main character in this entire video. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly have a chat about like fitness goals and things like that. I don't know, just with everything that's happened, I guess, in the past couple of years, just have been a lot of obstacles. And then on top of that, trying to be so hard on myself with fitness and like reaching these certain fitness goals. And of course, fitness goals are 
they're beneficial it gives you something to strive towards i think i just need to realize that you know like i'm not training to be a bodybuilder i'm not training to compete like fitness isn't my entire life it's just a part of my life that is just something i enjoy i've just come to realize i really need to stop being so hard on myself when it comes to it and to stop being so doubting myself and like making myself feel like shit when i don't hit certain goals and just being so like i want this to be bigger i want this to look smaller i want this to be more sculpted i want this to be like this and this to be like that i've just come to realize why am I being so hard on myself? I'm not training to be a bodybuilder. I'm not training to compete. I just genuinely enjoy working out. So I don't know why I decided to add on this pressure of being so... Everything has to be a certain way. I don't think I have any goals in terms of fitness. My goal is to just enjoy it and enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. Just enjoy working out. Just enjoy moving my body. Just enjoy feeling strong and feeling confident. That's the goal. By all means, do you want best for you and what you enjoy but i think for me i've just put so much pressure on myself whenever there's some kind of obstacle that has stopped me from working out for a while whatever it may be because life in the past couple of years it's not been smooth sailing to say the least i just need to go easier on myself really that's that's really my my goal is just to be easier on myself and like no restrictions it's all about finding a balance really and truly as annoying and cliche as it sounds that's really what it is but yeah I just wanted to run and let that out. <laughs> okay, I need to have a shower. I'm stinking. <laughs> This oil. Okay, we are out the shower. We are refreshed, revived. My hair is looking. I always just look. I literally look like a boy when I do my hair like this. I'm just figuring out right now. So I'm starting to get more into meal prep and meal planning. So we're not just like always running out of food and like not really making the most out of our groceries. Because in you know these trying times, you gotta make the most out of them and get the most out of them. So. I've got like um, a list of like meal ideas that I've like grabbed from online and like I don't watch the crack, okay? I've been trying so hard to get the Apple 14 Pro Max. So it's always sold out and I've been trying literally every day to try and reserve one and see if there's any stock, but nothing, nothing at all. And I know this is Samsung. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of bored of Samsung now. And the camera on the iPhone looks pretty damn good and that's the only reason I want it. Okay, I know I'm a traitor going apple i know i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i've had this phone for like three four years and it cracked just the other day i was like oh, she was doing so well she was going so strong for so long but anyways so yeah okay we're gonna do pad thai tonight pad thai so i need bean sprouts some tamarind some firm tofu i already have onion garlic actually no i need to buy more onions i have fish sauce i've got oh excuse me i've got peanuts should i have a protein smoothie i feel like i should have a protein smoothie i'm gonna do that first and then we're gonna go shop why did i just do that i actually don't know why i just did that like how how is that okay this is how you know I've been out of the game for a while. I don't even know how to make a protein shake anymore. Where's my blender? Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, first. Vegetable spring rolls to have tonight on the side of our pad thai. Oh my god, my back is going to die. Plum tomatoes because I always eat these. Limes because I feel like I always find a recipe and it always has lime juice. So. Cucumber again for salad, snack on, all that jazz. Chives for a pad thai. Eggplant or aubergine, however you like to call it because I do like making an eggplant curry. And white kidney beans or oh well, kennelly. I just spoke that. <laughs> Kind of this. <laughs> Sober noodle because Joe likes these as like an easy quick lunch when he doesn't have anything. Tofu for the pad thai. Passata because I've got corn mince in the freezer. So for spaghetti. Vegetable stock because you just always need vegetable stock I guess. Soy sauce. 
and everything. Red kidney beans. And last but not least, rice crackers just to snack on put some peanut butter on that oh if i get cream cheese add smoked salmon on this for breakfast or as a snack mm, i think that's a shot <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the end of the night. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it motivated you in somewhat, some way to do a workout, whether it's at home, at the gym, a class, whatever it may be, because you will just not regret. Like, I felt so good going back into the gym after a whole two months of not doing any movement, really. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.